It's the end of April, and me and Taylor have travelled up to the Scottish Highlands for a couple of weeks of mountain biking. We've both been to this area before, but not really experienced riding here, so we were both really excited to get this trip underway. We're starting off at Bunroy Park, just outside of Fort William, staying in a little camping pod for the first week before travelling around with a tent for the remainder of the trip. We'd had a pretty long drive up here and arrived fairly late in the evening, so waited until the following morning to head out in search of some trails. So we've just driven about half an hour down the road from the campsite, down to Lagan. There's a trail centre here called Lagan Wall Tracks, and there's also a load of enduro trails on the other side of the valley, which were recently used in the Scottish Enduro series. So we're actually on the trail centre side today. It was forecast to pour down all day, so we thought hard pack trail centre would be nicer than sloppy mud. But well, actually the weather has turned out quite nice. I've also got a new mud hugger up on the front, so hopefully that'll uh, reduce the amount of mud splattering up on the GoPro and in my eyes. But yeah, we're riding up here, heading up to do the black route, which looks pretty good. And yeah, we're gonna see how it is. great views on this trail but it's so hard to look at them because the second you take your eyes off where you're going there's um, the odd rock that's just there to catch you out. All right splitting into the black route now just had a few goes at this rolling took me a little while to get that line right because it just started drizzling a little and it's making these rocks super slick so try not to get caught out by them <laughs> oh no all right there's a few bits here that I um, find it really easy to mess up on just like that one tried that a couple of times so I think anything I do mess up I'm gonna Try and ride again to get right. Oh, that's gnarly. Ooh. Where are you going? Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right. Let's try and carry a bit of speed here. Oh, steep roll. Dodge of compressions. Oh, oh, that is like the tightest corner ever. How on earth do you get around that? We're getting slippy now. All right, this section's called Heart of Darkness. Let's see what this is all about. Oh, oh the rocks are so slippy now. Oh man. Oh, oh, oh. oh big roll. Oh, that was pretty steep. a bit. That's no good. So 
so I just managed to get myself a my first tubeless flat. I actually, um, this little rock garden here, you can just about see where the, the sealant sprayed up, but yeah, clattered my back wheel off that and got myself two punctures, which was <laughs> fantastic. Fortunately, it looks like I've managed to get them sealed up. Yeah, it looks like it's all holding up, so I'm gonna try and get myself down. Oh, interesting corner. Oh, no. oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. I was hoping that was just my pedal that I caught there, but got a strong feeling it was my derailleur. Although gears still seem to be shifting okay. Oh, I just managed that. Oh. First neck. Tell you what. Yeah, the derailleur's acting up a little. I'll have to check that out when we get down. But if you need to work on your technical skills, this trail is the one. From an neck. It's had some challenges. Oh. Oh man, oh, oh. oh there's so many big compressions. If I knew, knew the trail better, I might be able to avoid some of them. Oh, flipping heck. Oh. Lag and black route, the bike destroyer. <laughs> fast and flowy now. It's nice, I don't know what that is. Looks like an enduro trail branch now. Clip the pedal there as well. Don't think my bike's ever been through such a beating. <laughs> Horrible. Alright, so we've connected into the red route now. So it should be a little bit easier. Some of that can crazy gnarly. I've heard a fair few people say that the uh, the rock features on that black route are some of the most difficult out of any trail centre and they're not wrong. <laughs> I'm not usually one to really enjoy trail centres so much as enduro style trails, but Lagan was definitely an exception. The natural rocky features were a fair challenge, especially in the wet, and it made for a style of riding that I really wasn't accustomed to. Needless to say, I'd recommend this trail, and I'm sure to be back for a bit of redemption on some of those rock gardens soon enough. 
when I finally came to inspect the bike, it turned out things were a little worse than I previously thought, and I was actually going to have to source a spare part to properly fix things. But I'll save that explanation for the next video. Until then, I hope you've enjoyed. If so, make sure to subscribe to catch all future uploads, and I'll see you in the next one.